Hey guys, welcome to today's video and on this video I'm going to show you how to screen record on your PC. So if you are making use of 11, Windows 11 upwards, um, you can do this. But if you are making use of Windows 10, um, Windows 7, this might not work for you. But don't worry, I'm going to make a different video later on after this one. So if you want to screen record on your PC, when I say screen record, it's actually recording like a video just like you are watching uh, me record um, this video on my screen so to screen record this is actually what you need to do uh you click on the start area when you have the start area open then you type in sniping tool now if you type in sniping tool you will be able to see this particular tool right there um this tool actually helps you to either you screen record or you screenshot so there are two options for uh the screencast option now this one is for casting your screen which is recording your screen and then the second one right there which is probably supposed to be the one on the left is actually for taking a screenshot which is actually just a screenshot this records a screen this takes a screenshot so um whichever one you want they actually works the same way now if you're ready to do uh, a screen record um have this clicked uh have this selected you notice when you click on it it toggles left and right have this selected and then you click on any uh probably start new and then you highlight the area where you want to record let's say all of this area i want them to be recorded if you want the whole of your screen you drag it over the whole of your screen let's say from the beginning of the screen to the ending of the screen but then guys i am not going to screen record i'm going to uh, explain it later on so now you notice there are um, some options right here this particular option is to enable your mic right i'm going to disable that again so this option is to enable your mic and this option is to enable your pc mic which is actually your pc mic so when it's like this is actually enabled uh this way both of them are enabled but when you click on it and you notice there is this slash sign on it that means it's disabled and when you're ready to start recording your screen you click on start and then it starts recording so you start recording your screen and you can start talking and recording everything happening on the screen, moving around and other stuff. But then I'm not going to do that. The reason why I'm not going to do that is because I am already recording the screen. So um, now if I start recording this screen, it's going to cancel. I do not have a camera to record for now. Probably I'm going to upgrade to that later on. So I'm going to close this and I'm going to show you guys the screenshot method. The screenshot method is obviously the same way. So you um, click on new and then you highlight where you want to screenshot and then you leave it and it's going to take the screenshot. Now the screenshot has loaded just the same way. This is actually how your recording is also going to be saved. So um, once it's finished recording your screen, it's going to show this way. Now you need to actually... Uh, um, either maximize the screen or you move it around now if you've done that you can now notice right here this is the save option when you click on this it's going to ask you to save your video or your picture now on the format it's going to select the format but this is actually not a video so um go ahead and select the folder or where you want it to be saved and then you click on save but if you do not select any option if it's an image it's going to be saved a uh, screenshot image area if it's a video it's going to go to video area and save but then i'll advise you guys to just click on your desktop and then you create a folder on your desktop and then you hit save do not forget the file name give it a file name so that you can remember it and then you click save and there you have it your video or screenshot would be saved just about that way and then there are other softwares you can use to screen record also i'm going to do that on a different video but then the reason why i made this particular video about this particular software being easy for you to screen record is because this is actually very light and it comes with your pc and you do not need to have license to use it it is free to use uh but do not forget that you are actually going to be paying for um your windows subscription so um, if you're not paying for Windows subscription, you are going to see uh, Windows not genuine right here. So, uh, guys, I hope this video is helpful. Uh, please let me know on the comment section if this video helped you. And I will see you guys on the next one. Stay safe and peace. And uh, also, do not forget um, to check Trust uh, TS Tech Talk website for some other videos. And guys, stay safe and peace out.